بسم الله الحمد لله الصلاة والسلام على رسول الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته As we continue the topic of relationship of two letters when they meet each other in writing and pronunciation, today, inshallah, we will discuss the next category of letters, and that is called al-mutaqariban letters, the two close letters. Mutaqariban letters are two close letters, and there are three ways that make two letters mutaqariban letters. The first of them is if they are close in makhraj but not in sifat. The second one is when they are close in sifat but not in makhraj. And the third one is when they are close in makhraj and sifat. Let's see some examples of the first way to decide whether the letters are mutaqariban letters. Letter dal and letter seen in the examples adada sinin and qad sami'a. In these examples, letter seen and letter dal, they are next to each other, appearing as mutaqariban letters. Letter seen and letter dal use the same part of the organ, which is the tip of the tongue. But in case of dal, the tip is touching just behind the upper teeth, whereas in case of seen, it is behind the lower teeth. So they are close in makhraj, but it's not exactly the same place. But their characteristics are different. For example, letter dal is a letter of shidda, letter of jahar. When it is sakin, it is a letter of qalqala. And letter seen, it is a letter of safir. It is a letter of rahava. It has hams. So this shows that they are not too close in sifat, but they are close in makhraj. So this is the first way to decide if the letters are mutaqariban letters. The second way is when two letters are close in sifat but not in makhraj. Such as letter dal and jeem. When you see in this example, the wudu jaluta, letter jeem and letter dal are not too close in makhraj. Letter jeem is using middle of the tongue while letter dal is coming from the tip of the tongue. But they share many of the sifat. For example, they are letters of jahar, they are letters of shidda, they are letters of istifal and infitah. And when sakin, they are letters of qalqala. And another example is letter noon and letter wow. In these words, minwali, where letter noon and letter wow are not close in makhraj. Of course, they are not very far, just like letter ha coming from the bottom of the throat and letter meme, which is coming from the lips. But at the same time, they are not very close in the makhraj. But these letters, letter noon and letter wow, are close in their sifat as they only differ in ghunna and rahawa. And the third way to decide if the letters are mutaqariban letters, when the letters are close in makhraj and close in sifat. Such as in this example, yes, noon, letter ta and letter fa, both of them use the top of the tip of the tongue. So they are close in makhraj and close in sifat as they share all the sifat, except letter ta is a shidda letter, while letter fa is a rahawa letter. So they are close in makhraj and close in sifat. In the next example, milladunhu, they are close in makhraj as letter noon comes from the tip of the tongue and letter lamb also comes from the edges of the tongue. And in between them, there is only one letter, which is letter ra. If you're going towards the tip of the tongue, it's first letter lamb, then letter ra, and then letter noon. So letter noon and letter lamb are close in makhraj and also in sifat. For example, these are the letters of Tawassat and the letters of Jahar, Istifal, Infitah, and Tarqiq, and they only differ in Inhiraf and Ghunna. So these letters are close in Makhraj and Sifat. The other example is letter Lam and letter Ra, and these two letters have different Makhraj, but their Makhraj are quite close to each other. As said earlier, when you are going towards the tip of the tongue, First comes letter lamb, then letter raw, and then letter noon. So they are not using exactly the same place, but their articulation points are quite close to each other. And they are also close in sifat, as both of them share all the characteristics except one, which is tikrar, and it is only for letter raw. So they are close in makhraj and close in sifat.
So these are the three ways to decide if the two letters that are next to each other, they are mutaqariban letters. And just like mutamathilan, mutajanisan, mutaqariban letters or two closed letters, when they come next to each other, they can appear within one word or between two separate words in the following three ways. The first one is Kabir relationship, where both of the letters are vowel, such as in this example, Adada Sinin, where letter Dal and Sin are mutaharrik. They are mutaqariban letters in a Kabir relationship. And when mutaqariban letters like letter dal and letter seen, they can appear in a sahir relationship within one word or between two words, such as in this example, qad sami'a, letter dal is sakin, letter seen is mutaharrik. We call this mutaqariban sahir relationship. And they can also appear in a mutlaq relationship where the first of the two mutaqariban letters is Mutaharrik and the second one is Sakin, such as in this example, yes, that noon. And the rule in Mutlaq relationship is to recite the letters with always Idhar. It is called Idhar Mutlaq. And now we will discuss the rules to read Mutaqariban letters when they appear in a Sagheer or Kabir relationship, starting with the Sagheer relationship of Mutaqariban letters. Al Mutaqariban Sagheer relationship or the small relationship between two closed letters is when the first letter of the mutaqariban is sakin and the second one is mutaharrik or voweled. And in mutaqariban sagheer relationship, the general rule is idhar. We read both of the letters clearly with a few exceptions. But let's see first the examples where Mutaqariban letters appear in a Sagheer relationship and we recite them with Idhar. Such as in this example, Kazzabat Samudu, letter Ta and letter Tha, they are closed in the Sifat, sharing all of the characteristics except letter Ta has a Shidda and letter Tha is a Rahawa letter. They are Mutaqariban letters. Here they are in a Sagheer relationship. But we recite both of them clearly with izhar. And in the next example, a letter wine and letter ayn. These letters have different maharaj, but they are close in their articulation points. Both of them are coming from the throat. Letter wine comes from the top of the throat, while letter ayn comes from the middle of the throat. They are in a sahir relationship. And we will recite them clearly with izhar. And in the next example, letter dal and letter seen, they are mutaqariban letters appearing in a sagheer relationship. We will recite both of them with izhar clearly. So the general rule in mutaqariban sagheer relationship is izhar. We only apply idham in certain letters when they appear in a sagheer relationship. For example, when letter lam sakina meets letter ra, when lam at ta'arif meets most of the letters of a shamsi group, when letter qaf sakina meets letter kaf, and when letter non sakina meets most of the letters of your maloon group. Now we will see some examples here. The first one is when letter lam sakin meets letter ra. When letter lam and letter ra are appearing in a sagheer relationship, where letter lam is the first letter, which is sakin, and letter ra is mutaharrik, we will completely merge letter lam into letter ra. And this happens a number of times in the Quran. This idgham is idgham kamil, and we call this idgham mutaqariban sagheer. For example, if you see here, Letter lam is sakin and it is followed by letter ra, which is mutaharrik. So instead of saying qul rabbi, we merge letter lam completely into letter ra by doing idgham kamil. This is how we will recite it. Qur rabbi, qur rabbi. But there is one exception to this rule. And this exception is in Suratul Mutaffifin, ayah number 14. Where you can see letter lam is sakina and it is followed by letter ra, 
But here we can see a tiny scene on the top, which is a symbol of sucked, a breathless pause. And in Hafsan Asim Tariqatu Shatabiya, we recite this ayah with a sucked or a breathless pause here. And since there is a sucked here, the letter Lam does not join with letter Ra. And because they do not join, there is no question of Idgham. We read both of them clearly like this. Bal Rana, Bal Rana. The next exception to Mutaqariban Saqib relationship appears when Sakin Lam of Lam Atari meets with most of the letters of Lam Ashamsi group. The Sakin Lam will be completely merged into the vowel letter of the Shamsi group. This Idgham will be Idgham Kamil and the relationship of Lam Sakina with these letters is called Mutaqarib relationship and we will call this Idgham Mutaqariban Saghir. But Shamsi group has 14 letters and out of those 14 letters, Lam At-Tarif has the Mutaqarib relationship with 13 of them but there is only one exception to this which is letter Lam. So let's see first when Lam At-Tarif meets with the letters of Shamsi group other than letter Lam. So in this example, Lam At-Tarif is meeting letter Noon. So here Idgham Kamil will happen. Lam At-Tarif will completely merge into letter Noon. Instead of saying it like this, al nakhlu we say an nakhlu and we will call it Idgham Mutaqariban Saghir. And exactly like this, in the word As-Sa'ati, Lam At-Tarif is followed by a mutaharrik letter seen. Their relationship in the word As-Sa'ati is called Idgham Mutaqariban Saghir relationship. Here in the word As-Shamsu, Lam At-Tarif is meeting letter Sheen and this will be called Idgham Mutaqariban Saghir. But there is only one exception to Lam As-Shamsi group. And this exception is letter Lam because when the Sakin Lam of Lam At-Tarif meets a Mutaharrik letter Lam, Sakin Lam of Lam At-Tarif merges completely into the Mutaharrik letter Lam, which is coming after it. This Idgham will be Idgham Kamil, but of two same letters. That's why the relationship of Lam At-Tarif with the next letter Lam is not a Mutaqarib relationship, Rather, it is a mutamathil relationship. So we will call this idgham mutamathilan saghir relationship. Small relationship of two same or identical letters. Such as in this example, lam at-tarif in al is followed by lam in laqif. And we will merge the first lamb into the second lamb, and we will recite this one like this Al Laqifu. We will call this relationship Idgham Mutamathilan Saghir. The next exception to Mutaqariban Saghir relationship, where we do Idgham of two letters, is when letter Qaf Sakin meets letter Kaf. Letter Qaf and letter Kaf, both of them are coming from the deepest part of the tongue. But there is a slight difference in the makhraj. Letter kaf is from the deepest part of the tongue with the soft palate, while letter kaf is from the deepest part of the tongue with the area of soft and hard palate. Letter kaf is slightly ahead of letter kaf, or you can say letter kaf is slightly closer to the lips as compared to letter kaf. That's why they are not considered as mutajani san letters. And when they appear together next to each other, they are considered as mutaqariban letters, which means they don't share the exact same place or part of the tongue. And this only occurs once in the Quran in Surah Al-Mursalat, ayah number 20. The word is nakhlukkum, where you can see letter qaf which is Sakin, is meeting a mutaharrik letter Kaf. And in our way of Hafs, we completely merge letter Qaf into letter Kaf. That's why in Uthmani script, you will not find any sign on letter Qaf. But letter Kaf has a Shadda indicating Idgham Kamil happening here. So instead of reciting it like this, we recite it 
by doing idgham kamil like this nakhlukum nakhlukum and this idgham is called idgham mutaqariban saghir and the last one is when noon sakina or noon sakina hidden in tanween meets most of the yarmalun letters when noon sakina or noon sakina hidden in tanween meets the individual letters of your maloon letters except letter noon in that case noon sakina has a mutaqarrib relationship with all those letters for example the letter ya letter ra letter mim letter lam and letter waw they have a mutaqarrib relationship with letter noon but when letter noon sakina meets with letter noon their relationship with each other is a mutamasil relationship because there are two same letters they have the same makhraj all the same sifat we call their relationship with each other a mutamasil relationship not a mutaqarrib relationship they are considered as mutamasilan letters not mutaqarriban letters but when noon sakina meets with five letters of your maloon group they are in a mutaqarrib relationship they are considered as mutaqarriban letters such as in this example mimma in noon sakina is completely merged into letter mim the gham will be idgham kamil and the gunna that you hear is from letter mim in the next example mir rabbihim letter noon sakina will be completely merged into letter ra without any gunna and in the next example mim waliyin letter noon sakina is merging into waw but this idgham will be idgham naqis because one of the characteristic of letter noon which is gunna will be left behind and that's why this will be idgham naqis but in a mutaqarrib relationship and in the next example yakullahu letter noon sakina will be completely merged into letter lam this idgham will be idgham kamil but noon sakina and lam are in a mutaqarrib saghir relationship in the next example may ya'mal idgham naqis is happening because the gunna of noon sakina will be left behind but noon sakina and ya are in a mutaqarrib saghir relationship and we will call this idgham mutaqarriban saghir relationship but when noon sakina is followed by a vowel noon in that case the two letters are exactly same letters for example in this case so these two letters are not mutaqarrib letters in fact they are mutamasil letters although this idgham will be idgham kamil and the gunna that you hear is from the second noon not from the first noon but we call this idgham idgham mutamasilan saghir by giving the timing of most complete gunna this is how we will recite it min nutfatin but there are some exceptions to this rule where instead of doing idgham of noon sakina we recite noon sakina clearly with idhar when noon sakina appears in a mutaqariban saghir relationship with the letter ya and letter waw in these words dunya qinwan sinwan bunyan we recite both of the letters with idhar instead of idgham and the other exception to this rule is in surah al qiyama ayah number 27 where noon sakina is followed by letter ra but there is a sign of sakht in between them and in our way of recitation we recite it with sakht a breathless pause so instead of doing idgham here we will recite noon sakina and letter ra clearly because due to sakht both of the letters are not meeting each other and we recite them like this waqila man raq instead of reciting it like this waqila man raq we should not be merging letter noon into letter ra in fact we will recite it with idhar by reciting letter noon and letter ra clearly like this waqila man raq and when mutaqarriban letters appear in a kabir relationship where both of the letters that are next to each other whether within one word or between two separate words are voweled or mutaharrik we recite both of them with idhar clearly and there is no exception to this rule in this example qala rabbi letter lam and letter ra 
both of them, we will recite with idhar. In this example, az zakat thum, letter ta and letter tha. Here they are appearing as mutaqariban letters, but in a kabir relationship. We will recite with idhar. Ada da sinin. They are mutaqariban letters in a kabir relationship, and we recite them with idhar. The wudu jaluta. Letter dal and letter jim in a kabir relationship, and we recite them with idhar. In this example, azariya tizawa. Letter ta and letter dal. Here they are appearing as mutaqariban letters, but in a kabir relationship. We recite both of them with idhar, and we call this relationship idhar mutaqariban kabir relationship. And there is no exception to this rule. Now, this is the last category of letters, which is called mutabaidan, the two far apart letters. These letters are far in their makhraj and they are different in sifat. For example, letter mim and letter ha. Letter mim is coming from the lips, while letter ha is coming from the middle of the throat. And their characteristics are very different from each other. And other example, letter qaf and letter ra, or letter hamza, or letter noon, letter noon, or letter ayn. So these letters are distant in the makhraj, and they are different in sifat. And mutabaidan letters can also appear in a saghir relationship, kabir relationship, and in a mutlaq relationship, such as in the word al-qura, we can see letter qaf and letter ra. Letter qaf is mutaharrik. Letter ra is mutaharrik. They are mutabaidan letters in a kabir relationship. In this example, we can see letter ha and letter mim. In the word yahmilun, they are mutabaidan letters in a saghir relationship where letter ha is sakin and letter mim is mutaharrik. And in the next example, qawl, letter qaf and letter waw, the first one is mutaharrik and the second one is sakin. They are in a mutlaq relationship, and the rule to recite mutabaidan letters, whether they are in a saghir relationship, kabir relationship, or mutlaq relationship, is always idhar. There is no exception in any of the relationship. We will always recite them with idhar. In this example, man amana, letter noon and letter hamza are in a mutabaidan saghir relationship where the first one is sakin and the second one is mutaharrik and we call this relationship idhar mutabaidan saghir relationship in the next example mustahzi'un letter za and letter hamza they are in a kabir relationship and we recite them with idhar and we call this relationship idhar mutabaidan Kabir relationship. Again, here in this example, letter noon and letter hamza, man adol, this is idhar mutabaidan saghir relationship. When letters appearing next to each other are mutabaidan letters, whether they appear in a saghir relationship, kabir relationship, or mutalaq relationship, the rule to read them is always idhar. And there is no exception to this rule. Alhamdulillah, that's all in the topic of relationship of two letters. I hope this is clear to you. Jazakumullahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.